Well, hi, I'm Justine Degal. I'm a PhD student at APC. This, oh, yeah, sorry. At APC, and I will discuss uh, the benefits of differentiable simulator for weaknessing full field imprints. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, there are two ways to do full field imprints. You can either build the Bayesian hierarchical model, then run MCMC and get the poster at the end. And since the parameter space is like very high dimensional, we use, usually use HMC, meaning that your HM has to be differentiable. Or you can do implicit inference, meaning that in this case, your explicit BHM doesn't have to be explicit anymore. It can be implicit, so-called black box simulator. And you can use on the simulation, like a simulation-based inference algorithm to recover the poster at the end. But so instead of just using the simulation from your simulator, can you extract additional information to reduce at the end the number of simulation that you need? And so the answer is yes, you can use the gradient of your simulator, meaning that in this case, your simulator has to be differentiable. And so, well, recent works included ours, introduced method to leverage this gradient information to be able to recover the poster with a few number of simulations. But so here we have a problem because this gradient is not the marginal one. It depends on the latent variable that you have from your simulator, meaning that it's stochastics. And so depending on the noise level of your gradients, it will like more or less help to, uh, to reduce the number of simulations that you, that you need at the end. And it's actually not that simple to like know in advance if it will help or not. So this is the question we try to answer in, the, in this presentation. So in the case of weak lensing analysis, does this gradient help to reduce the number of simulation that we use for, that we need for simulation-based inference? And which inference method requires the fewest number of simulation? So to answer this question, we developed the SBI lens package that you can find on, Git, on GitHub that provides a differentiable long normal simulator. And so the first result that we have is this convergent plot. So this is basically the quality of your approximated posterior as a function of the number of simulation that you have. And so what is important to notice here is that the pink curve, so the one where we only use simulation, and the orange one, the one when you, when you use the simulation and the gradient from the, from the simulator, overlap, meaning that the gradient doesn't bring any additional information. And so to confirm that it was indeed coming from the latent variable that induced some kind of noise in the gradients, we learned the marginal score. And in this case, with the marginal score, the gradients helped to reduce the number of simulation. So we conclude that in our weak lensing inference problem, the gradient from the simulator won't help because they are too noisy. And so the second result that we have is the comparison between the full field the two full field approach, the implicit one and the explicit one. And as you can see, they have the exact same contour on the cosmological parameter. The only difference is, the only difference is that for implicit inference, we use 1,000 simulations. And for explicit inference, we use like more than 1 million simulations. And so we also benchmark all the simulation-based inference method that you can find in the literature, but don't have time to go in detail with this. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to talk to me at the coffee break. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Justine.